There's been a growing number of police and first responders who accidentally ingest opioids when they respond to these drug scenes. And health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here now to explain how it happened. Scary situation, guys. It happens by accident. When police or paramedics are responding to a drug scene, doctors say just touching or breathing a powdered opioid can be dangerous. Ohio police officer Chris Green accidentally overdosed on fentanyl during a traffic stop May 14th. He was helping arrest two men on alleged drug charges who were in this car. You can see the white powder on the floor. Officer Green wore a mask and gloves at the scene, but when he got back to the police station, he noticed powder on his jacket, brushed it off, and collapsed an hour later. I never dreamed that, uh, that something dangerous would be such minute piece of powder. Luckily, EMTs were nearby to administer the opioid antidote naloxone. There was a similar incident in Westmoreland County in western Pennsylvania where a police officer on a drug stop inhaled heroin or fentanyl, causing a fast heart rate. He too was revived with naloxone. It's actually very, very easy to absorb it through the skin inhaled through the mouth. It really goes in any way you want it to go. Dr. Eric Stander, emergency department chief at Hahnemann Hospital, says powdered forms of opioids can easily be ingested accidentally and quickly cause people to feel disoriented. It can also affect blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, which is really the most dangerous. Powdered opioids, heroin and fentanyl are so dangerous and now spreading across the country so fast. Fentanyl now is being sold. The DEA made a video warning police and emergency responders of the risks. As long as this stuff is on the street, uh, our men and women, our first responders are going to be bumping into it. And it's extraordinarily dangerous for them. The DEA says street fentanyl is now 40 to 50 times more powerful than heroin, which makes accidental overdoses so much more dangerous for first responders. And even when they wear protective gear, gloves and masks, that's not always enough. So it is a new danger they're facing on the streets.